Manhattan's district attorney is being criticized by fellow state Democrats over migrants released without bail after attacking police. And a program in the city that gives migrant families $1,000 a month to buy food and groceries is also receiving national attention. It was this attack on New York police officers that landed seven migrants in jail temporarily. They were all charged, then six released on zero bail. That decision by Manhattan's district attorney, Alvin Bragg, has been criticized by New York's Governor Kathy Hochul and New York State Attorney General Letitia James. All I can say is that under the laws of the state of New York, particularly the bail laws that I was instrumental in changing to make sure that judges had more discretion, uh, certainly an assault on a police officer is bail eligible. All I know is that an assault on a police officer means that you should be sitting in jail. Bail should have been set on those individuals. It was a serious felony and bail should have been set. Why it was not set, I do not know. When the migrants were released from custody, they flipped off camera crews as they walked free. They're ordered to be back in court February 20th. But police sources told CBS News four of these six migrants have already caught a bus out of the city headed to California. But the DA stands by his decision as his office continues to investigate the incident. There's no evidence in this case, evidence of, you know, of any uh, uh, you know, flight. We are investigating allegations of it. This is the beginning of the process. We will go forward to indictments uh, and we will hold those accountable who did these uh, heinous acts. Meanwhile, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is defending the decision to give debit cards with a $1,000 monthly limit to some migrants in the city. So I know that under first brush, you look at it and say, oh, wait a minute, what are you doing? You're giving people cars? But once you dig into the numbers and in the line, you'll see that this was a small policy shift that we're doing on a pilot project with 500 people. If this is successful, we're going to expand it even more. The city loses millions of dollars in food prepared for migrants that goes to waste. This program is said to save the city $7 million a year by cutting down on food waste. And migrants have to sign a paper saying the debit cards will only be spent on food, groceries, or baby supplies. More than 173,000 migrants have moved to the city since spring of 2022. The cost for the city to continue to house, feed, and help the migrants is expected to cost more than $12 billion through 2025.